In this lesson, you will learn how to insert and delete rows and columns in Microsoft Excel 2007. Here we are in our Excel worksheet for spelling grades. And I want to insert and delete some rows and columns. So let's take a look at how to do that. So we're going to add another column here for test 6. In order to insert a column, what we need to do is click on totals and that tells the computer where I want to insert the column. And then we'll come up to the Home tab on the ribbon and come all the way over to Insert. We'll click on the drop down arrow and we will click on Insert Sheet Columns. Now we have an extra column to add our test six scores. Now we're going to insert a row. Maybe I got a new student mid-year and I need to insert their name. I'm going to come to the name of Robert because my new student's name is Mike. And so I would like a row above Robert's name. I'm going to come up to the Home tab on the ribbon and again all the way over to Insert. Click on the drop down arrow and this time we're going to do Insert Sheet Rows. And I can see now I have a row above Robert's name and I can type in my new student. Again, this is very helpful at keeping you organized and, and also um, keeping everything in, in one spot. So that's how you insert columns and rows. Now let's say we need to delete a column or row. Maybe we ended up not giving spelling test number six for the first marking period. What you're going to do is click on the cell of where you would like to delete. And always the first cell will come up to the Home tab on the ribbon down to delete and we will click delete sheet columns and then our test six is no longer there to delete a row we'll do the same thing we'll click on Mike's name maybe Mike never ended up coming we'll go to the home tab on the ribbon delete and delete sheet rows and there that deleted the row and the column In this lesson, you learned how to insert and delete rows and columns.